Hello YouTube, internet, world. Welcome back to another episode of Dime Store Cinema, the show in which I talk about under-discussed films. I give you my two cents, so you can decide if it's worth your dime. Today I would like to start my Christmas series, and regardless of how you celebrate your winter season, there's no denying the cultural permutation of this holiday. So for our first outing here, I'd like to talk about the 2015 film, A Christmas Horror Story. It's a bit of a silly title, and in all honesty, it really should be Christmas Stories, because there are four of them. But I won't let that detract from the movie. This movie is a collection of four unrelated stories that are loosely tied together by a radio talk host played wonderfully by William Shatner. This movie really does have a lot of different elements. You have uh, changeling, you have possession, you have zombies. Each element does have a, have an, a unique twist to it though because they incorporate a, a Christmas mythos. So you have you have Krampus instead of a normal possession. You have a modern demonic interpretation of the Immaculate Conception. You have uh, zombies that are the work elves of Santa Claus. So there are a lot of a lot of horror movie tropes and a lot of common horror movie ideas, but what makes them fun is they're all in this greater Christmas-themed universe. Each of the four stories is, is, is decent. Um, I really can't say anything negative about any of the acting. Uh, I will say that the, the weakest of the stories is definitely the Krampus story. Uh, it, it didn't seem to work as well. Um, the conclusion of it wasn't as strong. Um, it probably did contain the worst of the acting, but I have definitely seen worse. Uh, my favorite of the four stories would actually probably have to be the three students who are trying to make a documentary of things that had allegedly happened in the basement of their school. Uh, the reason I like this one so much is they were able to build the tension. They had some genuinely creepy elements to it, and the way that they toyed with the the notion of the virgin birth and they changed it to be a very horrifying and creepy story element i think was was a really interesting way of doing things i also really enjoyed the santa versus zombie elf story however the ending of it was trying too hard to be clever it didn't necessarily fail at it, but it just seemed like it was trying a little too hard, which is unfortunate. They should just let it be what it was. They tried to ground it in, in reality, which I won't spoil it because it is the end. Um, like I said, they, they were trying to be clever, and I understand why they did. They tried to make an interesting conclusion that would make people gasp. And, um, and to be honest, I've written stories that are that were similar to it, um, that had a similar idea to it, and dealing with perception and uh, different things like that. But I just think that it would have worked better when you're dealing in, in all four of the stories, there's a supernatural element to everything that goes on, and then you try to naturalize the one story that's really, I mean, it's kind of the main story. Um, they try to naturalize that one while having all the other three stories have supernatural elements to them. It just seemed out of place and um, detached from the other three stories. And so that bothered me a little bit. Having William Shatner be the bridge in between all the stories was wonderful. I'm so glad that the filmmakers were able to get him to do this role. Mainly, William Shatner is not a good actor. But he is a personality. And you see this, you don't see 
this much in, in film anymore. You don't see these, these personalities anymore. You don't see these character actors that are cast not for their acting, but for their persona. You don't see that as much anymore these days. There's something that's very old Hollywood about it. There's something that's very classic cinema about that type of casting. And I don't think that that should be the norm. I'm definitely a fan of actors who can act. But every now and then, in, in roles like this, with dialogue like what he had in this movie... I thought that it was great and it was a lot of fun and it just it it lowered the tension between all of the stories it was a perfect perfect dose of of lightheartedness in between the stuff that's going on so I think to to have this comedic break in between the stories kind of allows the audience to experience the tone of the film better it allows people to sit back and just enjoy it this is definitely a movie that should just be enjoyed for what it is. It is for Christmas what Trick or Treat was for Halloween. I, I, yes, I said that. Now, I will say that Trick or Treat was a far superior film. Uh, also one that is not given the attention that I think it deserves. Um, I probably will review that movie at some point. I probably will wait until around Halloween to do it. It's enjoyable. There's not really anything negative in particular that I can say about it. Um, it's not a masterwork, but at the same time, it's completely competent. Um, none of the actors would win awards for it. But there's no acting in it that I can point to as being bad. It is a competent film that was more enjoyable than a lot of what I've seen in, in recent months. And particularly dealing with, with this limited of a release and this small of a budget, this film holds up in, in that category. Um... I haven't seen Krampus yet, which is a film that came out around the same time. Um, so I can't compare it to that. But I will say that the multiple stories, I think, kind of help it. Because I think Krampus as a character itself is kind of, of weak. And yeah, you can probably make a decent film with it. Um, but I like the idea that they had other things in it. It wasn't just Krampus. It wasn't just Santa Claus versus Krampus. It was it was a, a number of things, and there were there were genuinely interesting ideas in it. Um, the changeling story. The little boy was really creepy, and he did a great job. And the lady who played his mother was she did a phenomenal job. Um, the student documentarians were did a great job, and like a, the the story was was interesting. The play on the virgin birth was interesting. Uh, Santa versus the zombies and Santa versus Krampus was was fun and um, had the right tone. And it was just it was it was good. The family versus Krampus. Uh, you know, it had all of the hall hallmarks of of that type of horror film. So I I would say that although not a brilliant piece of cinema history it was a perfectly competent film that I, I enjoyed watching I, there was no point in the movie that I wanted to turn it off there was no point that I wasn't entertained there aren't many Christmas horror films there are some I think this one is 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 good and is perfectly fine for watching this time of year. I would recommend it for watching this time of year. It's it's a fun little addition to the normal Christmas movies that you'll watch. And I'll talk about more of those Christmas movies that we'll be watching or I'll be watching in the next few weeks. In any case, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, please comment. I appreciate everyone who watches these videos. 
I hope that your life is full of wonderful cinema.